Hey guys, welcome to um, I guess today's brief video. Uh, we're out here at uh, the Brodery Day Out, um, and the quality is definitely here. I've got, a, I've got an Aussie flag here, just in case people don't mistake where we are. Rotary <laughs> song. <laughs> That's it, bro. Good to see you, Danny. So did you do the conversion or? Uh, yeah, with a mate of mine. Um, but what are we looking at here? Uh, so 13B Bridgie, uh, just NA. Uh, it was the biggest I could fit in it to keep it road legal. Um, yeah, if I wanted to go turbo or anything, it was track only. So I was sort of somewhat responsible and, and got just an NA. An uh, RX4, Toyota 151 box. Uh, ran a couple of RX4 boxes to start with, but they were just like a, a slot gap until I could get the Toyota. So, yeah. Made that pulse. Yeah, man. I know. It's a little Yeah, man. <laughs> cool, Bill, bro. Yeah, Thanks yeah. for bringing it out, man. No some power bro what are we sort of talking like this car makes 800 horsepower oh, yeah, man. ashley justin nice to meet you, bro you too man now i know this has got a serious motor in it put you on the spot let's uh let's have a bit of a geese under the bonnet man yeah, right. which one of that one yeah well oh, this one? this is cool but you know yeah. bit of a surprise oh fuck yeah who uh, who did all the fab work on the manifold and everything so like um but yeah Dan just rebuilt the motor for me and yeah like um yeah produces goods so. <laughs> so what are we looking at here semi uh yeah semi yeah uh transmission uh c4 yeah and the c5 spy nine inch so I haven't taken it have, or have you taken it down the straight yet at all no not at all like only dyno that's all so and it's running nitrous as well yeah it runs nitrous as well so just to bring it up on yeah, the just to bring it up on boost yeah Nice, bro. Well, yeah, I can't, I can't wait for you to um, scare the shit out of me in this yeah, thing yeah, one day. Yeah, no, you'll love it, man. Cool, man. Take care, bro. Yeah, anyway. You mind if we have a little sneaky peek in your bridge board? Like now, yeah. Mikey, my bro, there's only like six of these or something, to my knowledge, ever produced. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Six. The, the, six. The, the actual original owner made six, and there's a few people made made them after. Uh huh. Um, different people. But. Now, now what, what's what's it based off? Like what the chassis is based off? Uh, it's a Type 3 uh, V-Dub um, and obviously a Ferrari Dino look-alike. 
Dino. So the Dino, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dub Dino with a rotary 246 Dino. Bro, wheel stands in these things. They do do it. Well, the, the motor is at the back. There's yeah. literally nothing keeping this car from staying on the ground. Shout this out. one sounds incredible. It goes incredible. It's a special, special car. What manifolds it running? Um, just standard manifold, Nicky carb. And everything's uh, yeah. backwards, Ash. Look, everything is yeah, the other way around. Yeah, it points in a different way, yeah. This is good. It used to be hooked up with some cold air, straight into there. Yeah. It was too much for it. It was just too cold. It's just so crazy yeah. seeing an exhaust go forwards and then have to uh, wind back. It's, it's pretty intricate. Yeah, the exhaust does that, comes back and it's back. Intricate. So what was the history of the car? It was from Melbourne originally, wasn't it? It was yellow. Yeah, uh, originally it was silver. Uh, then went yellow and I, I did the red. Wow. Can we have a bit of a look at the uh, the interior, please, and the uh, under the front? So what series seats are these? Or? That was Mazda 3. Um, yeah. So to keep the Mazda sort yeah. of flavour, yeah. They, they, they fit straight in and, and they had the good rails, so I could bolt them straight in. And I went as low as I could. And also uh, underneath, what's the, the fuel tank, I'm assuming, is at the... Uh, um, that's a good so what are we looking at here? Right. Just a, a VW, is it? Yeah, that's a standard VW Type 3 fuel tank. Um, Maximize the cooling system. Very, very cool. I'd love to um, I'd love to go for a proper, <laughs> a proper send in it. Uh, but I think you just, I think you're, you're mechanically kind to it. That's about it. You're probably five and a half thousand RPM, and that's enough. That's a change. Yeah, you're going quick enough by that stage. Well, thank you very much for bringing it out. Really yeah. appreciate it. Tell me all the specs on it, starting with the chassis. Oh, the chassis, I did at home. At, uh, it's uh, about as good as a chassis by a school teacher gets. It, it, uh, it's got a nothing set up in it, just a basic street engine, 42R. It's one of Grant Dixon's early ones, so the turbocharger is about 15 years old in this. Um, series 4 engine with a Series 6 inlet, four injectors, just E85, it's on about 30, 31 pound of boost. It's not that fast, it's gone 93, 149, just a and it's a Jericho, so it's a, I use the clutch in this car, so she's a bit wild. It's like the old days. Remember Maze Tech and Dalton and all them had a Jericho? Um, yeah, it's a bit of a hand-me-down car from my other one, not 808. I got another car, and all the old stuff from that sort of just went on this. And we just put something fun together that, yeah, it's just a fun little car to drive. ECU, is it running CDI or anything? Uh, yeah, M&W CDI and the Microtech. Again, just old stuff that came off the other car. Um, yeah, just a real basic setup. Yeah. Diff setup in it? Uh, it's got a sheet metal 9 inch. It's actually the old diff out of you know, Brad McElroy, the old Mad 620B one. It's got the rear end out of that because he went a bit full on with his. So it ended up with the, the 35 spline sheet metal setup that he had. And yeah, just basics. It's, got a, it's actually got a single plate direct clutch. I doubted Jerry when he said use a single in it, but it works. It's, it's a good thing. Um, yeah, that's it. Real basic. Gangster data. Don't need, it only makes 540 the tyres, which is, dude. There's street cars here today with heaps more than that. So it does, goes to show when the car doesn't weigh much, you, yeah, 540 goes here yeah, nearly 150 mile, 150 mile an hour with only 540. So you don't need much horsepower in these little things. Yeah, nice, bro. Car. Cheers, bro. Hey, guys, how's it going? Hey, Putting you on the spot. I haven't seen this car before. Uh, for a long time, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really nice. Can we have a look under the bonnet, please? Yeah. Oh. I haven't had it left home in 15 years. Well, thanks so much for bringing it out, man. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much for coming. Really appreciate it, guys. Nice, man. Well, thanks for bringing it out, bro. No problem, mate. Take it easy. How you going, bro?
Now, you both know what I want to hear, don't you? <laughs> Do you want to... Where have you hooked up your no, two-step no, button? Oh, the clutch. Yeah. Is there a button? Do you get down there? No shit. So how will take... All right, it's just made it another level now. Hard out. This car is just way too nice not to show it. So this is Mazda Sports Corner, and you could buy all these parts. This is what they call a sport kit. So you could buy radiators, exhaust systems, struts, clutches, wheels, but um, mainly engine parts. But this is the intake, and I've got the intake on this car. So it's an intake with a. It kind of looks like a Weber Carby, but it's not not quite. Like it's, but it's a it's a factory Mazda part with a Mazda part number and all that sort of stuff. So, um, so yeah, I got that on there and I've had that for a little while and uh, yeah just for something different because the 10A is pretty slow but this just makes a little bit of noise at least so for the people yeah. watching yeah. uh your other yeah. car was the GS yeah RX2 yeah that's right yeah, yeah. and yeah. we're just having a bit of a walk around and we've just had a look at uh, that RX2 is super rare that's a series 4 RX2 yeah. in front to to back yeah, yeah. um We've had a look at this thing, this is another rare, yeah, and then so we've just... Brisbane legend, that car, so you had it on the road since about 2009, so... Yeah, let's have, had, yeah. let's have a look at the boot, do you have the... Oh, it's full of junk at the moment, but yeah, it's just, it's all, all there, so... Another one. That's a super hard to get part of factory power air all for an R100, so... Anyway, yeah. That's a, so, full rotisserie? Yeah. Uh, not quite, um, it was full bare metal, but what... It was actually a pretty decent car, but we bare metaled it back in the yeah late early two thousands, I suppose. So yeah. yeah now right. tell me about yeah. these rims. Is that is that period correct? Yeah, or? Period correct. So they're a Watanabe wheel. So a friend of mine, we call we joke and call the Japanese Simmons. They're super common in Japan, but they're a, a super lightweight wheel. They're fourteen by six and a half and fourteen by six on the front. So. Just something period spec. So I imagine yeah. that would be hard to find. Uh, yeah, they're around. You can still actually buy them new, but they're they're, they're old ones I had restored. So um, yeah, that's one of those things. But the inside's basically original, safe for the gear knob, which was a, a part that um, that you buy. It was actually through this Mazda Sports. Car. I've got a better brochure at home that actually has all the the color color photos of all these bits and pieces that you could buy. But the car's largely. Yeah, so the, the carburetor setup is, is um, yeah, specific. Yeah, it's a, it looks like a weather, but it, it's it's not. It's actually a little bit wider in the bolt spacing and stuff like that. But it's um, it's not detailed very well again because like my other car, I wanted to drive them. I probably I was meant to get all these bits chrome, but I just just drive them. <laughs> so, I, I like it like that. Yeah, like it, like it, it, it keeps it original. If you want to see something a bit unusual, you probably want to come around this side. It's it's a. So it's a Series 1 10A, it's very close to the Cosmo Sport that just happens to be parked next to it where the, the through bolts come through the front of the engine and the actual, so the engine's basically factory studded originally, like, you know, the early engines are like that, but, which means there's a, a ton of O-rings to stop the water from leaking in. It sounds pretty cool actually, so yeah. yeah. It's got a two-inch stainless system in there. Sitting idle like that all day, so it runs pretty decent, really. For yeah, once again, something so old, I suppose. So, yeah, thank you, my friend, yeah. for bringing it out. Really appreciate it. Yeah, no I know you're on your way out, but you got to tell me about this thing. It's Ashley, man. Nice to meet you. You too. Um, well, let's see if we can get the bottom. This is very unexpected. So, 13B Semi DP, um, 6862 turbo. Um, obviously, the bully injection on it. Uh, it's got eight 990cc injectors. We're hoping to get maybe 600 out of it. Gearbox in it? So it's got the standard Series 4 turbo box in it. Uh, it's got a Hilux LSD. Uh, it's got a 4.8 in it at the moment. Um, what was it about this body that you uh, you did this kind of investment in? There's, there's something different. Right? You don't really see a whole lot of two-door panel van 323s. 
and I, I went through a couple of different combinations with the engine and this is just what I've sort of ended up with at the end result so pretty happy with how it's been going I haven't really had any issues with it So where did this start? Did you did you you know ten years ago? Tell me the history with it. Um, well, I built Pit Rat about eight years ago, um, and then the bro scored the supercharger. He was going to put it onto a Series One Capella, um, and then we did the rat rod style, and we thought, ah, oh, well, it suits the rat rod more. So what's going on with the Ute? Fucking hell, like this thing's oh, just... <laughs> moonshine runner. So come and tell me about that, because that's a that's a fifteen hundred, which is quite rare. Definitely over here. Yeah, 1964 or something it says on the plate or something, but yeah, we pulled it out of the paddock, out the back of King Arroy. Um, my mate was trying to buy it off the farmer for a few years, wouldn't sell it, and then I've ended up scoring it because the bro's moving, so. Fucking this thing's. Mad Maxis. Is the tank going to be used for anything yeah, or just. Yeah, okay. So it's just a bit of fun. And the kegs? The kegs? What are you going to do with that? There's some mean welds, bro. Well, the kegs will only be the fuel tank, and then we might do water meth or something in the welding tank. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to the Series 7 motor in it, the FD motor, and just go out and fucking burn some tyres. Well, show us inside the cabin. Are you going to still have it on the tree? Nah, no, so we don't know. It'll have a five speed in it, so we'll do, we might use this as the gear stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, that's just a rod by the way. This is a shout out to Jay at Low Standards. This is another level perhaps, or a different take on it. You know, yeah. Jay from Low Standards. Well, His take is this sort of stuff, you know? He's, uh, he's definitely keeping it going, so. Yeah. That's a little bit PP in it. But yeah, just getting away from the mic deck and we're just putting that 2,000 healthy in it. And spanners for the speedo cable. <laughs> <laughs> Billy would love this. He, um, yeah, the PP. Think about doing a, an Oz uh, rotary tour. Oh, well, about time, eh? I think we need to do it, but we might have to do a bus so we can sleep in it a bit better. <laughs> it was, how cool would it be but to see us doing a tour in something like this or these? No, uh, well, I, I, oh, reckon, I reckon... Uh, Who wants to see that? I reckon me and Adam Jones from Jones' Garage can um, try to find a bus in a paddock and put a 20B turbo in a bus or something. We'll go, we'll go hassle fucking low standards. <laughs> I want to see us tour in something like this. Can you imagine the fuel bill? <laughs> <laughs> it's cheaper than my cruiser to run. <laughs> Hard, bro. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. man. Cheers, bro. It's Ashley, how you going bro? Hi, how you going Pete? Pete, come around and show me this car mate, because this is a really rare... Yep. This is a Series 4. Yep, genuine um, rotary capella. Do you know the numbers that were produced by any chance? I have been told 800. Yeah. Right into Australia. It's a rare, rare car, yeah. This thing capellas have a real well, um, whereas the RX genuine rotary capellas, in Australia anyway, have a flat boot, because they've got a bigger fuel tank. And that has uh, fuel tanks underneath, underneath and that's from factory, yeah, RX2, yeah, yeah. 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 It's a beautiful car, man. Thanks Thank for you. sharing it with us. Thank you.